Alright you guys, what's up, it's JMMA here, back here with another UFC 5 detail, and today I have something special, uh, we're gonna be going over how to easily back up and pressure opponents, I feel like a lot of people, they m have a misconception, if you will, about pressure, they think it's just straight up block breaking, but if you watch what I do with Amanda Nunes in today's footage, you can see there was no uh pre overly you know committing the block or block breaking or anything like that our pressure with footwork and pretty much my opponent's uh mistakes okay you can see right here i already have him pressured up against the cage and what's reactionary for people when they're pressed up against the cage is to either throw a straight shot down the middle kind of a distance management shot or just throw leg kicks they they catch you coming forward with the leg kick it's kind of unexpected so those two things are probably the the go-to for people who are getting pressure right so you can see he throws a leg kick with jermaine durandamy i noticed he's about to load up to throw a second one so i checked that kick now i know once he sees the check you know the, the kick is checked he's going to try to circle out towards my power hand you have to be a step ahead. What pressure is all about being a step ahead. Really two steps ahead with your opponent. Kind of like how managing the distance. Pretty much with anything uh, regarding to managing distance or managing the pace of the fight. You have to be ahead. You have to know what your opponent's going to do before they know what they're doing. You know what I mean? So I know he's going to try to circle towards my power head. And as he's circling, you can see I'm moving towards the right with the right hook. Okay. And then boom. Now we're back here. Now I know. Okay. He sees that. You know that angle is cut off he's trying to go towards my lead hand so what do i do after i step on the outside of his left foot i move back in on the inside i throw my jab and now he's stationary so right here i throw a calf kick and i back up to let him uh to let him kind of gauge range after i throw the jab i want to gauge the range i can see he's moving towards the left he throws the head kick so i know he's going to move towards the right i throw a right hook okay he throws the uppercut double uppercut and you can see I'm in the pocket. I know I'm going to win this because Amanda Nunez is, is just brawl. Like he's slipping punches. He's doing a pretty good job defensively, okay? But I'm prematurely throwing that right hook. You can see every time off of the jab or off the double jab, I'm throwing a right hook because he's slipping that way and he's moving towards the right. So I know, okay, I, I got him where I want him as far as the, the footwork. But you can see when I'm throwing, I'm moving in and out of range, but I'm moving back in on angles to where he can't move. Okay, so you can see he's constantly trying to circle towards the right. I throw my shots, I move out of range, and when he's ready to move, I move back in range on the angle that he's gonna move in at. So he's moving towards the right. When I step back in range, I'm cutting off that angle on the right-hand side, kind of forcing him to the left. You kind of gotta do small nuance things like that to really play with the mind of your opponent right here. So we're about uh, 3 minutes and 45 seconds into the fight, and I just want you guys to pay attention to my footwork. I'm moving in and out of range, but I'm moving back in on angles. You can see he throws that, that right high kick. I'm moving towards the right because I know after he throws the high kick, what is he going to do? He's going to move towards the right, okay? You see the little nuances like that, like I mentioned earlier. I'm moving in and out on angles. I'm kind of mi I'm mixing up my footwork so I don't get too predictable to where he knows, okay, he's going to do this. I can just circle out this way boom i'm out of there i don't have to be against the cage you can see i'm i've had him on a cage this whole fucking round this is, we almost two minutes into the fight and i rock him again sadly i couldn't you know finish the the, the job right here but you know this, this is a great example of utilizing you know footwork to your advantage utilizing your opponent's inability to make reads you know as far as the pressure right here so right here i'm pressuring i'm walking forward you see he throws an uppercut hook i throw it straight down the middle he tries to throw a leg kick i see that and i know he's going to try to circle out or slip so i throw the right hook and i eventually drop him now with the ground problem right here i was expecting you know a little bit of timeout but we get in a clinch we do our damage we do our damage I move uh I move out and right here this is where he should have threw a team kick team kick straight down the middle create this is to stop the pressure would have been ideal for him but you know he's already and he, he's too invested into it I have him playing my game and he's already prematurely backing up I know the straight shots are already coming already because he hasn't established any range it's too late now you know what I mean it's too late to do that and you can see he's prematurely moving his head I already know he's gonna move right I know he's gonna try to move left after that so you can see I throw a uh, jab hook hook and then once I do drop him I finally get the full amount and then after that man the fight is pretty much over 
the, the, the fight is done right here and that's pretty much how you pressure without block break this is how you really use pressure how you really use iq use your opponent's iq your opponent's mistakes to pressure i got him out of there i pressured him that entire fight no block breaking no no double leg bells nothing like that just footwork and and pretty much iq and i'm not the you know i'm not the highest level player but i know the the in and outs i know what i'm doing for the most part okay so that's how you do that all right but that is going to be the end for this uh ufc 5 detail if you have any questions as always please feel free to let me know down below in the comment section i will catch you guys next time it has been jamin may do something productive with your day bd or me it's not productive i'll see you guys next time it's been jay you guys have a blessed day and i'm out peace